In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And in your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we are celebrating the solemnity of the Epiphany of the Lord. Men and women of every generation need on their pilgrim journey to be directed what star can we therefore follow after coming to rest over the place where the child was the purpose of the star that guided the magi ended but its spiritual light is always present in the word of the gospel which is still able today to guide every person to Jesus. These same words which is none other than the reflection of Christ through man and through God is authoritatively echoed by the church for every well disposed heart. The church too therefore carries out the missions of the star for humanity. But something of the short could be said of each Christian, each one of us called to illuminate the path of the presence by words and example of life. My dear brothers and sisters, now let us be prepare ourselves to celebrate these secret mysteries by acknowledging our failures, our weaknesses, and our sins, and with a humble heart, we ask God forgiveness and pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned through my fault in what I have done, in what I have done. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.